Hello, hello, this is Monsieur Jack, and I've decided to do another Diplomacy commentary. It's been a long time since I did one of these, but I recently played an interesting game in the past few weeks, uh, and I thought I'd share. So I played this game on Conspiracy, which is an app I believe only for Android. Uh, I do not have the best track record as the nation I played. I played Germany. Um, I've played 19 games of Germany. Of those 19, I've won, I think, 6, drawn 5, and lost 8. Hopefully that math checks out. Uh, so let's get right into what happened here. So I'll say right off the bat that uh, this game ended in a draw between me as Germany, Russia, and Turkey. Um, it was a long game. It lasted 16 years, and it was got, got pretty stressful near the end. Um, so starting off, my general strategy as Germany is usually to reconstruct the Triple Alliance between Germany, Austria, and Italy, and to cozy up to England over France. Uh, the reasoning behind the Triple Alliance is because if Italy and Austria are not fighting each other, then Italy can potentially be useful against France, and Austria can be used as a bulwark against um, Russia and Turkey if they decide to team up. Favoring England over France, uh, I do because England can be useful against Russia, but the main point is just just to keep them fighting, because if they're fighting each other, then they can't be united against me. Okay, so, um, the, my first move in the spring uh, was probably the most common move. I moved the fleet to Denmark, which can then be used to bounce Sweden, preventing Russia from taking it and preventing them from getting a build. Um, the uh, the other two, the armies, Berlin to Kiel and Munich to Ruhr, uh, that can guarantee me Holland if I feel that England is going to be problematic, but it can also give me a say in Belgium with Ruhr if I feel that Holland is not going to be contested. So that's what I did. Uh, I was very happy to see that England moved to English Channel, which is hostile to France. Uh, I guess my whole um, Triple Alliance didn't seem like it was pulling through. Italy moved Venice to Tyrol, which I guess theoretically could be used to attack Munich, but it's uncommon and kind of stupid. So generally, it's considered hostile against Austria. But he didn't move the army in Rome to Venice, which uh, you would think you would do if he was actually hostile against Austria and was trying to take Trieste. Austria made a hostile move against Italy as well. He moved the fleet in Trieste to Adriatic and the army in Vienna to Trieste. Uh, this uh, lines him up to attack Venice if he wants. Um, but at the same time, he moved Budapest to Romania, which is uh, hostile to Russia. So it's a bit of a weird kind of decision by Austria, because if he's uh, thinking he's going to be hostile to both Russia and Italy, uh, good luck with that. Um, so Russia moves to Galicia, hostile, to, um, hostile against Austria. Um, Turkey's move, the fleet in Ankara to Constantinople, signifies an alliance with Russia. Since he's not trying to contest Black Sea, um, looks like he's trying to get his fleets out into the Mediterranean to con contest Greece, and then a m move on Italy. Um, Russia also moves his army in Moscow to St. Petersburg, which is hostile to England. Looks like he's trying to contest Norway. So in the fall, I show hostility towards Russia by bouncing him out of Sweden, preventing him from taking it. I decide to do this because with Italy and Austria seemingly fighting, and Russia, Turkey being allied, I am very nervous that Russia will be able to get very strong, so I'm right away trying to stop Russia from getting too strong. This at the same time allows me to buddy up with England because if I show hostility to Russia, that's basically showing uh, friendship with England because Russia is preventing England from taking Norway. So I use this opportunity to construct an alliance with England. I at the same time support him into Belgium so that he can get a build in the second year because he's not going to have Norway. Okay, so Tyrol moves into Trieste. Uh, seemingly Austria allows it. It's a very weird situation. Russia attacks Budapest. I suppose he's trying to guess there between which one will be empty, either Vienna or Budapest. He chooses Budapest. He chooses wrong. Uh, Russia takes Romania, and, and Turkey is allowed to take both Greece and Bulgaria, while Italy grabs Tunis. France grabs his two southern centers. 
Winter 1901, first adjustment, I build a fleet in Kiel for the intent of moving into Baltic and contesting Sweden. Uh, the army is meant to be a bulwark against a Russian attack. England builds a fleet in Edinburgh to use against Norway. France builds a fleet in Brest, he knows he's hostile against England, and an army in Paris. Russia builds an army in Warsaw, that's hostile either against me or Austria. Turkey shows that he is still with Russia and the alliance, so he builds a Mediterranean fleet in Smyrna and an army in Ankara. Italy builds a fleet in Naples, probably feels the Turkish threat coming, and an army in Rome, uh, probably trying to shore up his position in Austria. So spring 1902, I move the fleet in Kiel to Baltic to contest Sweden. I move Holland into Kiel because I feel the Russian threat coming and I trust England not to take it. I try to move Berlin to Silesia, but that fails because Russia is attacking me. I move Ruhr to Burgundy to prevent France from taking Burgundy, thereby threatening Munich or Belgium. England moves North Sea to English Channel to prevent France from taking it and threatening his home centers or Belgium. At the same time, this allows the army in St. Petersburg to take Norway for now. Uh, the fleet in Edinburgh moves to Norwegian Sea to contest that. So we have France and Russia against me and England right here at this point. In the south, some interesting stuff is going on. It seems there's some cooperation between Italy and Austria. Austria supports the Italian army in Trieste to Vienna. Meanwhile, uh, Austria successfully attacks Greece and destroys the army there as Italy moves to Ionian to face the Turkish naval threat. Russia bounces Sweden, successfully takes Norway with the army, and successfully pushes into Silesia, which is adjacent to two of my centers. In the fall of 02, what we see solidifying here is an alliance between England, Germany, Italy, and Austria against France, Russia, and Turkey. So, I try to take Sweden, but that fails because Russia supports Norway to Sweden. Uh, England allowing Russia into Norway in the spring uh, made this possible, but he is able to take Norway this year. Meanwhile, he concedes English Channel to France as France supports Brest into English Channel with Mid-Atlantic. France also takes Burgundy, so he now has three units adjacent to Belgium. Russia moves Galicia to Bohemia, so between Bohemia, Silesia, and Burgundy, there are now three units adjacent to my home center, Munich. Uh, between Italy and Austria, Austria supports the Italian army in Vienna to Galicia, so Italy does not actually take Vienna, and the Austrian fleet in Albania takes Trieste back from Italy, uh, showing the agreement that exists between Italy and Austria at this moment. Meanwhile, the Austrian army that is occupying Turkish Greece successfully prevents the Turkish army in Bulgaria from advancing to Serbia by bouncing Serbia. Uh, Turkey chooses not to attack Greece, instead attacking Ionian, which is successfully defended by the Italian fleets there. So this is a very complicated situation, but in terms of the amount of supply centers, things are pretty balanced. Turkey is down one, back to four. Italy is down one, back to four as well. Austria is up two to five, but he can only build his fourth unit in the winter. England's up one to five. France, Germany, and Russia are all at five. So in the retreat phase, Russia chooses to retreat the army instead of potentially building somewhere else. England builds a fleet in London, Italy burns his army in Venice, and Austria builds an army in Vienna. In the spring of 1903, it is clear that we have an advantage over Russia. There is nothing Russia can do to prevent my taking Sweden, so I take Sweden. Uh, the Italian army that managed to get into Galicia in the fall of last year now has nothing to oppose its movement into Ukraine, which is adjacent to three Russian home centers. So Russia chooses to consolidate by pulling his forces back. He gives up on the north, he pulls his army south to Moscow while using Finland to cover St. Petersburg. He pulls Silesia back to Warsaw and attempts to pull Bohemia back to Silesia. In the West, England and I have agreed on a slightly more offensive strategy, risking Belgium a bit. I defend it, but England successfully attacks English Channel, kicks the French fleet out, and takes it with London. 
Meanwhile, France is able to move mid-Atlantic to, ne uh, to North Atlantic, threatening Liverpool. In the south, Turkey successfully takes Greece by cutting the support of Ionian. Here, Italy and I suggested to Austria that he pull his army in Greece back to Serbia, but he ignores that advice, and so the army in Greece is destroyed. In the retreat phase, we see the repercussions of that decision, as the Russian army that was dislodged from Bohemia has an avenue of escape to Galicia, which could have otherwise been cut had the Austrian army in Budapest moved to Galicia. Now, Russia in Galicia is adjacent to Budapest, and Austria has to cover that, limiting the amount of damage that we could have inflicted. Meanwhile, as a result of the dislodging of the French fleet in English Channel, it is allowed to retreat to Irish Sea, this giving two French units adjacent to Liverpool with only one English defender. This means Liverpool will be lost in the fall. In the fall of 1903, France does indeed take Liverpool. However, England uses this opportunity to move his English Channel fleet into mid-Atlantic, thereby getting behind the French lines and threatening Portugal and Spain. However, he messes up the defense of Belgium by attacking Picardy. I recall I told him to support the defense of Belgium with North Sea as I tried to attack Burgundy, but he messes this up, and so Belgium falls. I gave up Sweden to England so as to compensate him for the loss of Liverpool, so that his fighting ability against France is not so damaged. However, the loss of Belgium does swing the balance to a degree in France's favor. In the East, we use Ukraine's very dangerous position vis-a-vis -vis Russia to win a guessing game and successfully take Warsaw. However, Austria's previous mistake in Greece allows the Turkish army in Greece to take Serbia. However, we're able to mitigate the worst loss by bouncing the Turkish fleet in Aegean with Albania. So, we do not lose Greece, we lose only Serbia. The Russian army in Warsaw retreats to Prussia, the Austrian army in Serbia retreats to Trieste, and the English fleet in Belgium retreats to English Channel. During the build phase, England removes Sweden. I don't mind this too much because I don't intend to be England's ally forever. Russia burns the fleet in St. Petersburg, also great for me. But France manages, manages to build an army in Marseille and a fleet in Brest, so he's getting a little stronger. Uh, Italy uses his gain in Warsaw to build another fleet in Naples, and Turkey builds a fleet in Constantinople, each of them getting an extra fleet down there. So, in the spring of 1904, the position of myself in England against France is not as good as it should be. France taking Belgium opened up the position a bit, so even though we have local superiority against Belgium, we cannot take it because I cannot allow the French armies to get into Ruhr or Holland. So, in the spring of 1904, I am pulling back, contracting, in the same way that Russia had to contract last year. So I move Ruhr to Holland to protect Holland, and I move Burgundy to Ruhr to prevent France from getting into Ruhr and adjacent to three of my centers, which he was actually trying to do. I suggested here to England that Mid-Atlantic move to Spain because I did not expect that both French armies adjacent would support themselves into Spain. The idea here being that if Mid-Atlantic bounced Spain, it would be forced to retreat to Portugal and France could not retake Portugal in the fall. However, he did not listen to my advice and moved to Portugal instead and set himself up to be destroyed in the fall. I also pulled back Baltic to Berlin because I cannot risk the Russian army in Prussia from getting into my heartland. At the same time, I pull Silesia back to Munich to face the French. Meanwhile, the Russian army in Prussia moves to Livonia, probably afraid that I would move to Livonia myself and thereby be in a position to take St. Petersburg. In Austria, the front is stabilizing a little bit as Vienna pushes Russia out of Galicia back to Ukraine. In Greece, Turkey guesses wrong and the Italian fleet in Ionia is able to advance with Naples behind it going to Ionian. In the fall, however, the Italians and the Austrians guess wrong and the Turks are able to retake Greece. At the same time, though, losing Serbia to Austria. In the west, as expected, the English navy in Portugal is destroyed. However, I am able to pull off a pretty devastating move against the French. There is nothing to defend Belgium, so England supports Holland in and I, might, and I am able to take it. 
and between Brest, Paris, and Marseille, France has to choose which two he wants to cover, and I am able to correctly guess that he will not cover Paris, and so I move Burgundy to Paris and take it. I am able to therefore win two builds against the French this year as he loses two. So in the adjustment of 1904, I am able to take over France's position as leader at seven builds as he falls back to five where I was at the beginning of the year. England stays at four, Austria stays at four, Russia stays at four, Turkey stays at five, and Italy stays at five. Uh, the only change is that I gain two as France loses two. So, spring 1905, my main goal this year is trying to hold on to Paris. So, in the spring, I attack Burgundy with Munich, trying to push right in there. Um, I ask England to attack Brest, uh, saying, yeah, I'll support you to Brest. The, the main idea being like, oh, I expect Paris to be attacked, I just want you to attack Brest so Paris doesn't fall. So, that works nicely. Uh, the French navies in North Atlantic and Irish Sea choose not to prevent England from taking Liverpool, worried, uh, presumably, about that English fleet getting into Mid-Atlantic and doing the same thing all over again into Portugal, uh, since he had to remove those units there. So, in the northeast round uh, Finland, I move Bothnia to Finland, worried about that Russian army getting in there since I had to pull back from Russia to go deal with the French, but the Russians have other ideas. They are moving into Livonia, but um, the Italians are able to support the Austrians into Ukraine, so Russia is basically collapsing at this point. In the south, we need a, we in the south we see a nice little move here. Um, the Turks are trying to break through to Ionian, uh, expecting that. Greek support would be cut, so instead they move Greece to Ionian. Um, my expecting this, I'm like, hey, yeah, they're probably going to do this, so maybe use Ionian instead to support Albania in to Greece, and bada bing, bada boom, it freaking works. So the uh, the Austrians are able to take Greece in the spring. In the retreat phase, the French army in Burgundy moves to Picardy which I'm very happy about because I was not expecting that the English fleet in uh, English Channel would be able to do the whole thing against Brest again in the fall because of that pesky uh, French fleet in Norwegian Sea, which is threatening to move to the North Sea. So if the French army had instead retreated to Gascony, there actually would have been no defense for, for uh, Paris. But since he moved to Picardy, there is... Uh, and in Ukraine, Russ is just like, I don't know, I only got you Sev to go to, so he goes to Sev. In the fall of 1905, Paris is totally safe. There's nothing France can do. Uh, it took me a while to find that move. I don't really want to try and explain it because it'd take too long. It'd be a little hard to explain, too. But, uh, yeah, Paris is good. Um, English Channel does, yeah, it bounces North Sea. It's just like, no, 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 you, you can't have that. Um... Uh, England tries to support me to St. Petersburg. It fails, but that's okay because Prussia successfully gets into Livonia and destroys that Russian army there. In the southeast, <coughs> Turks, yeah, they, they can't they can't attack, so they're just defending. Um, they defend everything all right, but yep, uh, yep, days are numbered down there if things keep going as they're going, which hint they won't. <laughs> So, adjustment 1905, Austria took Greece, so they build an army in Vienna. England took Liverpool, so they build an army in London, getting ready to screw over the French. Uh, France lost Liverpool, so they removed the navy in Norwegian Sea, which could have done a lot of more damage, but they decided to remove it anyway. Uh, Russia just replaces its lost army in St. Petersburg. <clears throat> So, spring 1906, I'm in the lead at this point, and it is at this point that I'm starting to think, all right, I want to stab England, but I have concerns. Uh, the first concern is that Italian army in Silesia. I'm not necessarily concerned that it will attack me outright, but uh, Italy, England, and I have been talking a lot this whole time, so I'm kind of concerned of what they will think when they see me just totally stab England. Um... I want to stab England at this point because I'm obliged to support him into Brest, and it's like 
there goes my advantage if I don't take it this year, because I don't really have much to take this year except for St. Petersburg, which in hindsight might have been better to delay it a year. Um, but yeah, so this year I decide to stab England. That fleet moving from Livonia to Bothnia has one purpose, and that purpose is to take Sweden. Well, actually, it's got a second purpose. The second purpose is to allow the Russian army in St. Petersburg to retreat to Livonia. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a deal with Russia. Uh, so I tell them I'm taking St. Petersburg in the spring, but I'm going to leave it in the fall. The idea being I'm going to help him um, defend against Italy and Austria because I'm afraid that Italy and Austria will attack me <coughs> if they see me stab England. So I want to be friendly, friendly with Russia. In the Southwest, I am preparing to take Brest for myself, even though I've promised it to England. Burgundy to Picardy, that's too adjacent to Brest. Um, and then moving uh, Roar to Burgundy, that's able to cut Gascony support in the fall. So I take Brest. Uh, anything happen in the South? No. Uh, Austrian attacks are repulsed. Okay, here we go. Retreat, St. Petersburg to Livonia. As planned, fall. There we go. Okay, so I take Sweden. I'm out of St. Petersburg. Brest, I take it. I told England I was supporting him. I lied. Taking it myself. Um, Munich's going to Silesia just because I'm worried about, you know, Italy just being like, hey, why'd you do that? Um, and weird. Italy and Austria miscommunicate, and Livonia is able to take back Warsaw. They communicate correctly on Romania, and they take Romania. Uh, but Turkey takes Greece. So what we have here is even. So Russia loses Romania but takes Warsaw, but Turkey takes Greece. So, Italy's down one, Turkey's up one, Russia is even, France is down one because they took Brest, and England is only down one. That's kind of the danger of these one, one SC stabs. They're not... It's going to be a long war. But there it is. There's my stab of England. So, <clears throat> retreats. Now, here, right here, might be my biggest screw-up of the game. So you see that Russian fleet in Romania that is either forced to retreat or burn? I suggest to Russia that he burns it. I suggest to Russia that he burns it because I'm like, hey, build a fleet in the north coast of St. Petersburg and we'll fight England together. Now, if, you, if you're still watching, if you stay till the end, you'll see why that might have been a very bad idea. Um, yeah. So, Italian army burns in Warsaw. Um, so if I had not suggested that move to Russia, I probably would not have had much to worry about in terms of Austrian-Italian counterattack in the south, to, to, to my south, against Munich. So, yeah. And then Albania is forced, or, you know, Greece to Albania. So, build 1906, Kiel Fleet, because North Sea is adjacent to Holland and Denmark. Um, England is forced to burn something. He burns Wales because it's unimportant, but he his position is uh, not terrible. He can delay me quite a bit. It's going to be a long slog to get those fleets into a position to really start damaging England. Army in Munich, Turkish fleet, because because the, the Italians are in Aegean. So, spring 1907, time to follow through on the stab. So, I'm defending Brest because I figure they'll, the f English and the French will combine to do what they can against me, and I'm moving Burgundy into Paris because I'm afraid that Irish Sea will move into Mid-Atlantic and uh, that'll make three attackers against Brest, and I think I need another defender. And I abandoned Belgium because I don't think it'll be attacked because... 
it doesn't look all that inviting. Meanwhile, I'm trying to close the position in the center, you could say, by moving Kiel to Holland, covering that, and Sweden to Denmark, covering that. Meanwhile, North Sea is trying to open the whole thing up by moving to Heligoland Bight, adjacent to 3, as opposed to North Sea, which was adjacent to 2. Um, Russia moves to Norway. Um... I'm inviting this just because I'm thinking I need as many fleets right now. I need all the numbers I can get because it's it's tenuous. It's tenuous. Um, strangely, though, Italy and Austria are still confiding in me, and they're still, like, mentioning their orders to me. And I'm just like, okay. So that whole Ukraine attacking Sevastopol with Romanian support, I knew about it. Uh, I knew about Galicia attacking Warsaw, so I'm just like, hey, Russia, uh, do that. So, yeah, he did that, and I protected Warsaw, and Russia was able to destroy the army in Ukraine. In the south against Greece, I, just, I think I knew about that as well. I think I knew they were going to do that attack, and I was able to suggest the only move that is, um, uh, well, I guess it's not the only one but a move that is defensible against that attack, and it happens. So, huh, strange. But, uh, yeah, digging my grave here, actually, a little bit, in hindsight. Maybe counting on Russia a bit too much. Um, so, fall 1907, um, Paris and Brest are sufficient to defend each other. Picardy prevents the English from taking Belgium. Uh, Ruhr covers Kiel. Um able to take North Sea with Denmark, covering it with Sweden. Uh, Russia takes Norway um, in the southeast. Uh, Italy, I guess, is disheartened and misses a turn, which in hindsight is a bad thing, uh, because Russia is able to take Romania from Austria, and Turkey is able to dislodge or destroy the Italian navy in Aegean. So as a result of this year, I gain nothing except position. Russia gains two builds. He's back to six. Um, yeah, Russia's getting stronger, faster than I would have expected. So, so adjustment, because Austria had two armies destroyed and only lost one center, he's able to build in Trieste. Uh, Italy replenishes his navy, he's still playing. Uh, Russia builds army, Sev. It's able to lock down the southeast a bit now. And another northern navy. Uh, England removes um, Heligoland Bight, which I guess would is like the the second most ideal. I would have preferred English Channel, but you know he's not about to go commit suicide. So yep, here we go. Spring of the year 1908. Okay, so since I'm free to move and don't have to worry about losing breast, uh, I attack. Gascony, um, trying to push into France, trying to get some builds there, because I can't, I can't, I can't take anything from England reliably this year, because, uh, it's gonna take me both turns to push into English Channel, um, so I move Holland to Belgium to prepare to do that. In the southeast, I am obliged to support the Russian army in Romania to Galicia. I would prefer not to have to do this, but at this point, I'm kind of concerned, like, I have to help Russia, I can't not help him, or I might bear the risk of him marching into Sweden and stabbing me. So I feel like I have to maintain my end of the bargain at this point. He's not a vassal, he's not at three like he used to be, he's at six now, and I'm at nine, so it's more even at this point. Um, yeah, so Russia is advancing in the southeast. Fall 1908, um, I take Marseille. I took a long time deciding on what I wanted to do there. I think it took like 30 minutes until like the moves were uh, up. I was being like, okay, I'm going to hit Spain because, you know, thinking like Mid-Atlantic is just going to support Marseille to Gascony and it's just going to cancel out. But I decided, you know, France ain't the greatest, so I'm just do it. And I took Marseille. So, good. I have a build. Um... Take English Channel. Don't take North Sea, but that's okay. Uh, defend Brest. And finally, it's at this point that, Ingl that Italy gets really mad at me because it's like, you saw me support Russia, 
and I support Russia here again into Galicia just because it's like obligation. So Italy attacks Munich. Not that it did anything, but uh, if you look down there and you see Naples going to uh, Tyrrhenian Sea, yeah, it's it's curious. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Uh, Russia's moving up. He's adjacent to Edinburgh now. He's in Norwegian Sea. Um, Russia retakes Romania. Um, he lost it, but easily taken back. Um, so, result of the year, I'm up one, and that's it. France is down one. So, adjustment 1908. Uh, fleet build Kiel. Why? Uh, because I need fleets. That's my fourth fleet. I need to have more fleets than anyone else in the Atlantic if I'm going to win. I need I need the British Isles to win, I need Spain and Portugal to win, and I need to uh, take Norway and St. Petersburg from Russia eventually if I want to win. So that's the rationale. Spring 1909, I'm trying to push my fleets up. I push English uh, Channel into Irish Sea, um, and Belgium fails to get into English Channel. That is unfortunate. North Sea also cannot get into it. Um, but I'm able to get into Gascony, and between Irish Sea and my two units adjacent to Spain, that's enough to take Spain, so I have Spain this year. Uh, Russia uh, is able to get into Clyde and Norwegian Sea, so he has Edinburgh this year. Um, I attack Bohemia for some reason. Italy's not moving again, disheartened. Um, I don't know why I took Bohemia. I probably shouldn't have taken Bohemia. It just shows more hostility to Italy for no reason. Um, probably just trying to keep up appearances. I probably shouldn't have done it. Just pro or, I don't know, maybe just, just not thinking about it too much. Just like, oh yeah, they'll just advance, even though Italy's not my enemy here. It's it's Russia. Yeah, Turkey takes Serbia. Uh, so, yep, they're, they're collapsing over there. Retreat, yep, Italy's still playing. He retreats to Tyrol. I guess maybe part of the rationale for me doing it in the first place was thinking like, hey, oh yeah, Russia, do, do, can, you, can you support me into Vienna? I'm just like, no, just I shouldn't have done that. It's bad. Pissing off Italy. Okay, uh, fall 1909. Mm, Uh-oh, uh, Tyrrhenian to Gulf of Lyon. He mad. He, he very mad. I take, I take Spain, as I said. I'm able to get into English Channel and North Sea. Russia takes Edinburgh. Um, I get into Tyrol, but... Italy gets back into Bohemia. I guess some min miscommunication that would have uh, given Russia Budapest between Russia and Turkey, but they're still pals. They've been pals since the beginning of the game. Um, and Italy looks like he's going to be trying to throw it, just to spite me, because I pissed him off too much. Oopsies. Uh, Turkey takes Serbia. Retreats. I pull back to Silesia, uh, but in Ionian, Italy burns the fleet which allows him to build somewhere else. So then you see in the builds, he builds an army in Venice. So there go any chances of my getting through there. Um, I build an army in Munich. Maybe I shouldn't have because I just need to pull back and just hold. Probably should have built a fleet instead, but like then, I'm, then am I inviting Russia to just attack me? Spring 1910, you see down there in Ionian, Ionian moves to Tunis, um, so, yup, uh, Naples just moves to Tyrrhenian, and Gulf, Gulf of Lyon supports Mid-Atlantic to Spain. Uh, this is fine, it lets Spain retreat to Portugal, and I have enough adjacent to retake Spain and hold Marseille, so it's all good. That's fine right there. Um, convoying Belgium to London so that I can take London, but also have an army so I can work on Liverpool after, you know, after it's time to fight Russia. But lo look at this from Russia. Russia gained four, or three, three from England. And what did I gain? What did England have that I gained? England had Sweden and London. So I gained two from England. Russia gained three from England. That's how that worked out. Um, I attack Bohemia from Munich for some reason. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, and then Bohemia attacks Tyrol, so Tyrol's forced to retreat. So, retreats. Uh, Tyrol retreats to Munich, so look at how effective those armies have been. Uh, yeah, not at all. Uh, Spain to Portugal. I'm taking back Spain's fine. Um, yeah, Wales, so I have to defend London there. 
then. So, fall 1910. Uh, let's take a look at Sweden. That is an agreed bounce between me and Russia, but uh, Russia moves into Warsaw. So, um, I couldn't have taken it there even if I wanted to. Uh, yeah, so I take back Spain. That's totally safe. But look, uh, Tunis doesn't hang around in Tunis. Turkey doesn't take it. He just moves to North, uh, North Africa. So, he and Italy are in league right here. Turkey supports Venice to Trieste. So, Italy stabs Austria here, which is interesting. I, I honestly would not have expected him to do that. His personality throughout the whole game was very, like, non-stabby. I defend London twice. I don't know why I didn't do something else with North Sea. Maybe I'm just trying to, like, show an excuse for it being there or something, but... Yep. Um... Interestingly, though, I pointed this out to Russia, that look at Turkey's moves in Turkey. Like, he's moving Aegean back to Constantinople. Logically, that... And then Constantinople to Smyrna. So Smyrna can then go to Armenia next turn, and and then Constantinople can take Black Sea. So it looks like, like Turkey is here considering just attacking Russia. Um, so I pointed this out, and I wanted this to be true. I take Tyrol, but... I don't know, uh, yeah, it's like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna take, I'm t gonna take Vienna, Russia, you're gonna help me into Vienna, right? You're just gonna let me win, you're just gonna let me win, right? Russia, well, he doesn't do that. Oopsies. So, adjustment 1910. I have 13 supply centers, Russia has 8 supply centers. Um, Turkey has 6, Italy has 5, Austria has 2. I have 2 builds, fleet, because... I have only have four fleets up to this point. One of them is occupied defending Spain. Um, Russia has three in the area, so I need another one if I'm going to fight Russia. Uh, then an army, because I need something to defend the land against against Russia. I need to move at least another army down to Burgundy to defend the southwest. That's my main focus right now, is defending the southwest. Uh, Italy builds an army. Russia builds an army. Let's see. Spring, 1911. Um, I have to guess right here. I'm trying to avoid letting anyone into Mid-Atlantic. Mid-Atlantic is a nice... That's where the stalemate line is. Uh, I'm guessing... I'm prioritizing defending Spain here as opposed to defending or preventing them into mid so I guess wrong, and Turkey gets into mid. That bounce in Sweden, planned. The bounce in York, planned. Or that Russian army in Moscow moving to St. Petersburg, scary, because that's going for Finland. That can go to Sweden. I'm just holding the southwest right here, trying to, be, trying to build up a force that can take Russia out of the British Isles, out of the Atlantic. Uh, they're they're screwing with me here. Ru Russia says he's supporting Trieste to Vienna, but that he would actually that he'll actually support me later. He just wants to soften Austria up. Yeah, it's not true. But Turkey moves back from that attacking position against Russia. Russia takes Budapest. And fall 1911, the moment I've been dreading. Warsaw to Prussia, Galicia to Silesia, uh, St. Petersburg to Finland attacking Sweden. I've got everything in the southwest covered, I've got Brest covered, but that Turkish navy in mid-Atlantic is a pain in the ass. Serbia takes Trieste, Austria's gone. Adjustment 1911, uh, I have a build because my army in Tyrol was destroyed in the spring. Uh, I build a fleet because my hope is I can uh, hold the Atlantic to some degree. Um, ride out the storm, focus, I'm focusing, my plan is to focus mainly on the southwest against Italy and Turkey, uh, threaten them basically by going light against Russia in the, in my home centers, forcing, um, Turkey to respond to the threat of a Russian victory by eventually stabbing Russia and then working out some sort of three-way there. So that's my plan. Uh, let's look in the spring of 1912. Yup, I'm focusing on the Atlantic. Uh, I just I don't even bother with Berlin. But look at what Italy does. Italy 
moves Gulf of Leon back to Tyranian and Western Med to Tunisia because he feels, rightly, that Turkey is stabbing him. Now, he sent me a message and I didn't get it until it was too late. Um, I didn't know that Italy was doing this and if I had known I probably would not I would not have attacked Tyrol and I would have tried to defend Berlin and stuff. So I got screwed here. Russia takes Berlin, Russia takes Sweden. Um, I'm holding on to North Sea and stuff and my units are out of place. My units in the southwest are way out of place and I really have to adjust quickly if I'm gonna stop Russia here. So, fall of 1912, there's some weird stuff here, so I'm trying a cool little convoy to Wales so that I can, like, take the British Isles nice and quick, but that's stopped. Russia abandons Berlin, though. So, this was kind of weird because I was, I was just trying to, like, be like, okay, we'll have a three-way draw, Turkey will kill Italy, and we'll have a three-way draw. Meanwhile, uh, the Turkish plan was ostensibly that two-way draw with Russia. That was the plan the whole game, because they were together the whole game. Uh, Turkey, at the end of the game, said that he would have honored it, even if he was in a position to win. Um, but Russia's, I guess, feeling a little differently. So I get him, just, he, he agrees to, to get out of Berlin, even though we're fighting elsewhere. He's trying to take North Sea from me, and I'm trying to hold on to North Sea, just because I feel if that falls, then North Sea is adjacent to four of my centers, so if yeah, if that falls, it's very bad. Meanwhile, Italy is now working with me, uh, supports me into Western Med. I'm trying, because I suspect that a two-way draw is what they're after. So now, I'm thinking, okay, I can delay Turkey in the south as much as possible, and gain in Britain, and eventually push the Russians back by having naval superiority in the Atlantic. So that's my plan here. Spring 1913. Um, I'm in a position here, at least, to defend Berlin. Um, so I'm able to defend Berlin. Turkey advances against Italy. I'm trying to delay as much as possible. Uh, manage to put myself in a position to take Sweden, though. So that was good. The fall. Uh, Italy is willing to support me into Venice. Turkey's all pissy about this until the end of the game, as though, like, I don't know, I had broken some agreement. I agreed to a three-way draw with him, he agreed to a three-way draw with me, even though that was not his intention, as he later told me. He thought, like, I was attacking him, like, he had attacked me, like, Russia and I agreed to a three-way draw, too, as soon as Italy was dead, but he and I are slogging it out over each other, but for some reason, I don't know, Turkey felt pissy about it. And I tell Turkey also at the same time, I can't hold Venice, okay, so I'm just trying to delay you. I'm just trying to lay you, so piss off. But that's fine. In the fall, I take Sweden and Venice. Hold North Sea in the fall, too. So, in adjustment 1913, I build a fleet, thinking I can get that into Baltic, and then maybe do a convoy into Livonia and just cause chaos or something like that. Uh, spring. Uh, yep, it goes to the Baltic. I'm defending Berlin best I can. Uh, doing Gulf of Leon to Tuscany, hopefully maybe thinking like maybe I can destroy that Turkish fleet there. It doesn't work, it's fine. Pull the pull Venice back to Piedmont defensively. Um, uh, move North Atlantic to Clyde to get too adjacent to Edinburgh. But I lose North Sea. And that was that was an oops. Uh, Wales attacks English Channel. I wasn't really expecting that. I was thinking he would just go for London or or Liverpool, but uh, that's a good move, and he takes it. So that's a big problem. Uh, looking into the fall of that year, then um, I, I retreat the fleet to London, which I wasn't thinking that first. I was thinking like, oh well, now I have to defend Holland or Belgium. Um, or maybe move to Skagerrak if I can, like, maybe think of some, like, offensive potential against Norway. But, like, I decide on London, and I think it's the best move. So then in the fall, uh, Russia tries to attack London, which, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what I would have done in this position. It's a very complicated position. Um, but, yeah, he doesn't try to go for Holland or Belgium, which I just kept, I just left totally open. Um, but I take Edinburgh. And as a result of this, I'm even, losing Venice, taking Edinburgh, 
last year I had gained Sweden and Venice, but it was only able to build one unit. So that means I have a build in the 1914 adjustment. I build an army thinking, all right, we're going to try this convoy. Screw stuff up. Then in the spring of 1915, I decided to convoy Berlin to Livonia instead of Kiel. Might have just been, it, it, I don't think it would have mattered all that much. Um, so I got that convoy, and that's going to take Moscow. That's going to cause havoc. I take North Sea. I wasn't really intending for that to succeed. I was hoping he would attack English Channel and that uh, North Sea would have moved to Holland or Belgium or somewhere else and that I would have just been able to prevent a follow-up move to North Sea with that, but I actually forced him to retreat, but he just retreats to Norway. So he took Sweden from me, and then he retreats um, the fleet from North Sea to Norway. Um, I thought that was a missed opportunity, but I'm not about to complain. And then in the south, Italy's desperate. He's just going for Spain, trying to survive. So then in the fall, I do take Moscow, hoping this will force some of the Russian troops on the front to pull back to give me some uh, living space. <laughs> um, and I take Liverpool. So yeah, I take, Liv I take Liverpool. Um, I give up Denmark. Uh, thinking that um, I can prevent a follow-up to Sweden using Bothnia, which does succeed. I try to retake Berlin, but I guess wrong here. If I had supported Kiel in with Baltic and just supported the defense of Munich with the other two, that would have actually worked. But I made the wrong guess here, and so I don't retake Berlin, and so I have no room for builds. But here in the south, Italy's dead because I don't let him into Spain, and Turkey takes Tunis. So, it's just the three of us. It's just the three of us, and so I'm there when the adjustment phase starts, and there's only uh, one player to make a move, and it's Turkey. Um, I offer the draw right here. Uh, Turkey just builds and resolves his turn, so I'm like, hey... Why, why didn't you agree to the draw? So then during the spring phase, when we're all deciding our moves, I'm speaking with both, with both Russia and Turkey, and Turkey lets it slip that uh, the plan all along was a two-way draw. I'm appealing to Russia here that the situation is such that only Turkey can win. That he and I are going to be in a slugfest forever. He has to respond to Moscow. I have some good position... Uh, in the Atlantic, and that I can really make stuff troublesome for him, and that he can't afford to let this game go on because uh, there's no better option for him at this point. So as Turkey and I are arguing about things, and I'm calling him dishonest, and you know we're doing banter back and forth and slugging at it, Russia gets in on the group chat, and he says, all right, let's draw. And at this point, Turkey agrees. Turkey's like, okay, I give up. Now, what I'm wondering is if I could have won in this position. Because I have 14 supply centers here. I need four more. What are those four? Those four are Berlin, Denmark, Norway, St. Petersburg. Um, I decide not to risk it just because if, like, I refused the draw at this point... I don't know whether or not Russia is going to give me another chance. Because I can conceivably hold the Southwest for a certain period of time. Right? Okay, cause, because the Turkish fleets are coming. They can't take anything this year. They can maybe take something next year. They can maybe take Marseille or Spain, get into mid-Atlantic. Now, if that Russian fleet wasn't in Wales, I feel like I might have gone for it. I feel like I might have been able to hold on to that stalemate line in the mid-Atlantic and follow through with my original plan of just pushing the Russians out of the Atlantic, uh, out of Scandinavia, and then I might be able to, at worst, hold a stalemate line, hold the three-way draw, um, but at best, potentially win. So... Well, I'll never know, but I'd be curious to know what others think. So this was this was my draw. This was my draw as Germany. I didn't win. I didn't win another game as Germany. So I can't win as Germany. I'm just... I don't know. Central position, maybe, but 
This was a really interesting game. It lasted like six weeks. It was a hell of a slugfest. So if you got this far in the video, I congratulate you because I can't imagine how anyone would listen to 45 or 50 minutes of me blabbering away about diplomacy games. So thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. It took me a while to make this, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again. Goodbye.